and welcome to your gold market update for today the 29th of june 2022 with mike smith senior analyst at gold markets let's have a look at what's coming across the news today of course overnight we had another week session on wall street friday's gains are now completely erased after monday and tuesday's trading uh, caution is persisting across investors relating to concerns about medium term economic conditions inflation and we've seen energy costs rise again overnight u.s futures are near neutral in asia showing a slightly positive spin at this early stage but only slightly so asian indices are trading lower and towards the lows of the session with the asx down in excess of one percent at this stage in the trading day european futures are also pointing to a negative open uh, we did see not surprisingly, some strength in the US dollar with the USD index bouncing off support again on that equity weakness. Although gold is trading below that 1835 level, it is holding 1820, which looks like short term support. As we said, all is trading higher again and moving back towards 120. The VIX is still trading below 30, but is obviously higher on the back again of that equity weakness. Now, Bitcoin is retesting 20,000 support and trading within a tight range as it has done for most of the week. And a fairly big data day today with the Australian and Japanese retail sales, both out and both higher than expected. We've got German CPI, Eurozone consumer confidence this afternoon, and US personal consumption expenditure and GDP numbers out later. All of those will be viewed and scrutinized significantly in light of the concerns previously stated. Uh, we're gonna start by looking at Bitcoin. You can see there we managed to crawl our way up to just under this 22,000 level at the back end of last week but really since the week has started we've drifted back down to 20,000 you can see that's where we're trading right now only marginally higher in Asia but there seems to be no appetite there at all for buying into cryptos in the FX world we're looking at the euro Swissy you can see there we did have support at 101 and that has been breached in yesterday's trading. We've had three tests of it over the last three days before yesterday. Uh, and although we're slightly higher today, it looks as though the bears are in control here and we could move down to test parity. If we just look at the 30 minute chart, you can see really how we've traded within a really tight range since that drop when the European session opened. So we're looking possibly at a move below 1005 to suggest we might uh, move down to test that parity level we've just talked about there trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now